looking to pick up the Poco X5 Pro and you're not sure what the cameras are like, well today I'm going to show you what the camera features are like. And also, I will also show you some photos and videos taken with this device so you can judge the quality for yourself. First thing I will say that this is a really nice device. It's got features on here which you will not find on flagship phones like the latest iPhone 15 and 15 plus but you have them on this mid-range priced phone all right the other thing to note is that I have started to make videos on this device on my channel I think I've pushed out a first impressions video and I will continue to make more videos on this device right with that out of the way Let's get into the cameras and see what it's all about. So if you tap on the camera app there, turn this closer, we'll take you through most of this. So do bear with me. So starting with the options at the bottom carousel there. So obviously you've got the photo, you have video, document, pro, and with the pro, you can play around with the white balance, the focal, then the ISO balance, etc. So again, if you're budding film of uh, someone who's really deep into photography, yeah, you've got it right here. So again, so you've got photo, portrait, and what I'm gonna do is come back into these individual sections a little later. So first of all, just to show what they are, so you have night, and then if you click on the, the more section, you have these further options so you've got the 108 megapixel main camera short video panorama vlog slow motion time lapse long exposure etc if you're not happy with this font style you can change it just by tapping on this button here and you can have it in this format and if you want to revert back just tap on there like so. So taking a look at the features on here, the top you've got HDR, you have AI, you also have the Google Lens, which is pretty useful. Okay, so just tap on that. And then if we tap on the top right here, so you'll see you've got some other options there. So you've got the aspect ratios at the top there. So that's currently obviously 9 by 16, 3 by 4, 1 by 1, etc. You can have full. Then you have the seconds. The other thing I like about this as well is that you can rotate it like that. And you still have everything at your disposal. You've got settings, macro, tilt shift, time burst, voice shutter, etc. Let's just quickly tap on this movie frame. So if you want to take a photo like that you can do so comes out really nice and once you're done you just depress on that and that will go back as normal so again really useful now let's move on to video just definitely want to note that and obviously here so you've got there you can stop any hand judges can and then if we just tap on the right here so you can see you can shoot video up to a maximum of 4k at 30 frames per second and as I indicated earlier again just tilt it like that and you are good to go and yep so you've got movie frame grid lines macro etc so yeah grid lines so you can see that again really pretty useful do like that let's have a look at more camera features on this device I'm going to try and cover as many as I can I would love to cover all of them but otherwise this video will be too long again I love the fact that you have the histogram on here all right let's tap on this option here so let me just depress that press that again so you'll see you've got these three options there saturation contrast and the sharpness okay so see you've got the 108 megapixel camera for taking the best photos okay and then if we tap on this one here we've got some 
other options at the bottom here. So from that, so color gradients, that's what I like to call them. Again, really useful. And then if we just go back and whilst we're in the pro, I just want to show you here. So you can zoom up to, I think it's 10, yeah, 10 times, there you go. So you go 10 times zoom and that's what it looks like. Yeah, you get some grainy, but I still, I still think, uh, yeah, really, really good, uh, really good photo. Okay, so we'll go back in again. Documents, so at the top there, look, you've got original, black and white, and then you've got enhanced, again video and for that one i think it goes up to six times zoom all the reveal short yep six times zoom no, let me just confirm that there you go you can see that sort of at the top there you go six times zoom and that's what it looks like okay so if we go back and then we're obviously in photo Again, let's see that one. Yeah, 10 times zoom as it shows there at the bottom. And let's just see what that looks like. So there you go. That's what 10 times photo looks like. I think that's really nice. I have to say that is glorious. 10 times zoom. Okay, then we move on to portrait. Let's go night. And then for just and try and zoom up see where that takes us again that is maximum is 10 times zoom and again that's what it looks like i think that looks fantastic and then if you just take it over to the proper look at that i think that's pretty good so that just gives you an indication of the zoom capabilities on this device let's now take a look at the front facing camera with the video option so at the top here right you can see you can shoot video up to a maximum of 1080p at 60 frames per second and again you've got your grid lines and if you're movie buff you can have that in the movie frame so again really really nice feature to have and then again just start recording Let's now take a look at some photos and videos taken with the device. While you do that, I shall take a walk on Copper Cabana Beach behind me and I'll see you at the other end. Just so you know, the photos and videos you're about to see have not been altered pre or post production. thing you can do when you go in your more section is to change the layout so once you're in here tap on the right again and you'll select that top option that says feature layout once you do so as it states there 
press and hold an item to rearrange it. So you have a choice there and you have more at the bottom here that you can press and rearrange as instructed. And once you're happy, just tap on the tick and you're ready to go. You can change the camera mode. So if we tap on here, so you have these two options where with the more tab, or you can select the one on the right, there's more panel. And once you're happy, you're good to go. If you decide to choose this more panel option, watch what happens when you do. So if we come out, then go back into the camera app. Now, along the carousel here, you will see there is no more option. Now, if you want to access the more option, select on the top right here, then select settings, and then select customize. And then select camera modes, and select the original one, which is the more tab. And now, we go into the camera app, scroll along here, and now you will have your more section. If you look at the bottom carousel here with the words, you can see whichever one you select is in yellow font. What you can do is change the color of that font. So if you go into the more section here, and on the top right here, if you tap on here, here we see customize, and if you go to colors, and you'll see you have some other options below there. So let's select the purple one here. If you're happy, tap on apply, and if we go back, and now you can see that the words are now in purple. Point. Of course, the other thing you can do is to customize the sound. So once you're in your more section, tap on the top right here, and you're going to select the last option that says sound. And it's currently on default. And you can see here, retro, modern, and film to choose from. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for this episode. My name is Shola. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another episode. Ciao.